Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a caselet. It says that there are six students A to F. They participated in an essay writing competition, and there were two essays, one and two. And we are given some information about the marks that they received in these essays. So using this information, we need to find out that how much they scored in each of these essays. So uh, let us make a table like this: A, B, C, D, E, F. And we'll fill their scores in essay one, essay two, and the total scores. We are also given that uh, these all these marks were integers. We are given here is only two students got marks as even numbers. The marks of Dhanush were double the marks of Bandhan. So Dhanush must be even because double of any number has to be an even. Edwin got the least marks and it was an even number. So Dhanush and Edwin got even numbers. So this means the remaining four have to get odd numbers. Okay, the the remaining two have to get odd numbers. So uh, Dhanush is double of Bandhan. D is equal to two times of B and B has to be odd. Okay, so B can be one. Three, five, and accordingly, D will be two, six, or ten. Now see this: the essay is of ten marks, okay? And Charles got the highest marks. So if we take ten, Charles cannot be uh, cannot be more than Dhanush. So we will have to take. We cannot take ten. If we take one and two, now we are also given that Dhanush got more marks than Fatima, okay? Now if we take one and two, we cannot have Fatima less than Dhanush. So that is also not possible. So the only possibility that we get get here is three and six. Three marks of Mahanu, uh, this Bandhan, and six marks of Dhanush. Now Edwin got the least marks, and it was an even number. So Edwin will get two marks. So three six two done. Now Dhanush got more marks than Fatima. Now Fatima has to be greater than two because Edwin is least. It cannot be even number because already two even numbers are done. It cannot be three. It has to be five because only odd number less than six that is five because one is not possible. So it has to be five. Now we have to fill two odd numbers and they have to be seven and nine. So Charles got the highest. So Charles will get nine marks and Amrit will get seven marks. So first for the first slot, this is done. S C one is done. Now we will fill for essay two and subsequently find their total. So each student got distinct marks again, and no one got less than eleven marks. So eleven is the minimum, and only two students got marks in even numbers. So two even numbers and four odd numbers here also. Dhanush got the highest marks. Exactly two students got double of the marks they got in essay one. Now, if they are getting double of marks in essay one, so no matter they got odd or even here in essay two, they will get even marks because double will always be an even number. And we are saying that two students got even numbers, so these two students are the ones that they got double of those marks. So let us find out who those people could be, okay? And then we will figure it out. So uh, if we take A. A can have fourteen, B can have six. Not possible. Okay, Dhanush got the highest marks. Okay, Dhanush. If we take twelve, that is not possible because we have six people, distinct marks, minimum eleven. So Dhanush is not possible as twelve. This is not possible as twelve. Two cut double is four. Five is not possible as ten. So we can have see only two people can have double marks. And these are even marks. So this is not possible because they are less than ten. And Dhanush is not possible because we are given that Dhanush got the highest marks. So that means these two people will double their marks, fourteen and eighteen. Okay, Dhanush got the highest marks. Now this is eighteen. So Dhanush has to get nineteen marks. Dhanush can only get twenty also because there are two e students that have even numbers. These three are done. Now we have to find for. The remaining three. 
we are given that total marks of fatima in essay 1 and 2 combined was average of dhanush and edwin so dhanush how much dhanush gets dhanush gets 25 okay now we will try to find out using uh, like uh, edwin okay edwin can get minimum 11 edwin can get 13 also Edwin can get 15 and Edwin can get 17. Okay, so let us find out that if E is this, what will be the value of F? So if E is 11, so E ka total will be 13. Okay, then uh, E ka total, E in, this means E in second, E ka total, then F ka total, and then F in second. So uh, if E's total is 13, so this is 25, 25 plus 13 is 38, F ka total will be 19. If F ka total 19, then in second, he has to get 14, which is not possible because he cannot get even marks. Similarly, we can take 13, 15 and 17. If his score is 13, total will be 15, total will be 20, total will be 22. If total is 15, sorry, this is... 2 more 17 and 19. If total is 15, this is 25. So average will be 20, average 21, average 22. If average is 20, we will get 15 marks here. Okay. We will get 16 marks here and we will get 17 marks here. Now this is not possible because F cannot get odd even marks. Now we can have 13 and 15 and if we put 17 and 70, both will become equal. So, if we see 17 and 17 here, agar maya 17 lag diya, this will be 19. Average of these is 22 and this will be 17, but we are given that distinct marks. So, this is not possible. Okay, so the only possibility that we see is this case that E will get 13 marks and F will get 15 marks. So, 2 plus 13 is 15. And total is 20. So 20 is 15 here. Okay, so this is also done. Now we have to put an, uh, an odd number here. So it can be 11 or it can be 17 because 13 and 15 are used. Achha, let's add that total 21. This total is 27. We are also given that no two students got the same total marks in both the essays combined. So if we put 11, we will get 14. If we put 17, we get 20, which is not possible. So we will have a unique case that is 11 and 14 marks. That will be the total marks. So this is how we solve this problem. Now let us look at the questions based on it. First question is, how many marks did Bandhan get in SA2? So SA2 Bandhan got 11 marks. Who had the highest total? Highest total is 27 of Charles. And then we have, what were the average marks in SA1? Average marks if we take 10, 90, 25, 30, 32. So 32 divided by 6, that is 5.33. How many of them received less than 20 marks in SAs 1 and 2 combined? So less than 20, less than 20. So 2 students out of these. So that is the solution to the set and the answers to the questions.